In this video, I will show you how to find the Z value by substituting the R and M1, N2 value into this formula. So you can see that the Z formula, we have R and N1, N2 repeat for so many times. Okay, if we do the calculation, like we have the 10 minus 2, 21, 9 over 21 plus 9 plus 1 into the calculator, it will become very messy. So what we need can do is we use uh, A to represent R and then X to represent N1 and Y represent N2 and key in this into the calculator and we substitute the value of R and N1, N2 into the formula to get the value of Z. So it will be alpha A minus something in bracket and we have fraction 2 alpha X and Y divided by the alpha X plus alpha y and then plus 1 and we close the bracket and we have the square root of this whole thing 2 alpha x alpha y and we have a bracket 2 alpha x alpha y minus alpha x minus alpha y and we close the bracket and then for the denominator part inside the square root we have the alpha x plus alpha y and the whole thing square and then multiply with the alpha x plus alpha y minus 1 and after you key in this formula correctly then what you can do is you uh, press calc calculate so the calculator will ask you what is the value of a so the value of a is actually the value of r that is 10 then we write 10 and then we press equal then they will ask you the value of x which is the value of n1 that is 21 then you press 21 and you press equal and for the last y they will ask what is the value of i then it's n2 that is 9 then you substitute 9 then you press equal and the calculator will return you negative 3 times square root of 14 divided by 7 and if I press SD it will change to decimal that is negative 1.60356 that is the value of Z thank you